China launched the first module of its space station on Thursday, April 29, from the Wenchang launch site, in the southern island of Hainan. It is considered a greater milestone, in Beijing's ambitious plan to establish a permanent, human presence in space. This marked the first step of China's efforts to build its own space laboratory whose astronauts have long been excluded from the International Space Station. China is determined to build the ISS equivalent in two years' time frame. That said, it won't be as large as the ISS, and going to be about one-fifth of its size. According to China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the core module called Tianhe, currently the largest spacecraft developed by China has a total length of 16.6 meters, a maximum diameter of 4.2 meters and a living space of 50 cubic meters. The Chinese space station is expected to remain in low orbit at between 340 and 450 kilometers above Earth and expected to operate for 10 years, which could be extended to 15. There are 11 launches including four crewed missions and four cargo missions are scheduled in the next two years. The first crewed mission Shenzhou-12 is expected to be launched in June 2021, and will see sending three astronauts to orbit for about three months, during which the life support system and maintenance will be tested. Billions of dollars have been poured into space explorations, as China seeks to reflect its rising global stature and growing technological might, following in the footsteps of the United States, Russia and Europe. China is expected to allocate space and resources to a number of international microgravity experiments, and possibly for greater international collaboration, similar to International Space Station. Although the scope of that cooperation is not yet clear. The International Space Station, a collaboration between the US, Russia, Canada, Europe and Japan, is due to be retired after 2024, although NASA has said it could potentially remain functional beyond 2028. Russia, however, is looking to go solo in their program of space station beyond 2025.